Okay. Yeah, I just written it down so that I don't forget anything. But uh, today I'm going to show you how to record and interpret the hum sound. The hum is a low frequency sound, in other words, a bass, a low, that just keeps on going, keeps on going. It has no cool rhythm and it's definitely not cool to hear. Sometimes the source of the hum is unclear, you don't know where it comes from. Sometimes you notice the hum started after some new factory, power installation, whatever, mobile antenna has been placed in your neighborhood. But sometimes you just don't know what. What is clear, however, is that currently nobody's going to do anything about it. So, if you go to the doctors, all they can do is offer you medical advice. Of course, if you seek medical help, you will only get medical help. They can't. They can't help you find the external so sound source. They can only help you cope with the symptoms. That you are annoyed with the sound source. So basically, you will be redirected to psychiatry for therapy or something like that. If you go to the government, like I did, they just deny it, it exists. There is no harm sound. So therefore, I made this video. It's, it's pretty easy to record and view the actual sound happening. It's, it's no biggie. So if you know how and have the right tools, it's easy for you to to find it and know it's there. So you first step, of course, is the microphone, like I'm using right now. Condensator microphones, that's a type of microphone, they're different types. They're both cheap and often have a good low frequency sensitivity. Um, other, other microphones are no good for recording the low frequencies other other types so just if you want to buy a microphone for this purpose you need a condensator microphone and uh, different types of condensator microphones I took a USB one from uh, Divine because my price class was pretty low 50 euros or something <laughs> but it's it's still pretty good um, a USB microphone has the advantage of not needing an external power source, you just connect it to your computer. That's it. Um, yeah, it has a pretty good response, 20 Hz, it's pretty low frequency, so that's good enough. And of course if you have way too much money, then you can buy one from 200, 400 euros, 1000 euros, whatever, that has a better frequency response but it's also more sensitive so it's easy to screw it up or damage it um, the reason yeah uh, I already said that um, of course also if you buy an expensive microphone realize it's just for yourself because uh, like, like I typed here so that I don't forget to say it uh, <laughs> no government will approve of your measurements or take them serious whatsoever so you can you can file in any measurements you like it's pff, nothing it's just for yourself so yeah you can spend 500 euros for a microphone but it it won't help help you in any legal way so it's just for yourself so that you know that you are not crazy or anything or it's not in your head. It is an external source of sound. If you do want the government to take you serious, you have to hire professionals as they are called. All they have is a microphone that's sensitive. <coughs> Expensive microphone and they turn it on and then off and then yeah, they have a measurement. And they ask about 2k euros, 2000 euros usually at least. So, uh, yeah. Good luck with that. Um, and even when they do find, find the sounds, it's usually still ignored by the government because they use a different way to um, estimate the sound levels. Because there's two different ways. There's the actual decibels. Decibel is a way of sound pressure, and there's a decibel with the A measurement, 
uh, interpretation. The A interpretation has been invented um, by by getting a lot of people and asking them what sound they could still hear. So, for instance, they they play in play a low frequency sound and turn it down, turn it down, and ask, can you still hear it? Can you still hear it? And the same for the high frequency. Um, the end result of a couple of thousand people doing this is that the low frequency sounds were usually about 70 decibels lower than um, than the normal decibels of 2000 hertz or something. So that means that that they would play an 80 decibel low frequency sound and it sounded just as loud as a 10 decibel normal frequency sound of 2000 hertz or something. So that means that if you measure an 80 decibel sound, that's pretty loud. It gets corrected. And the government makes it 10 decibels. And they say, oh, it's not loud enough to do anything about it. But there's, there's the big problem, because it has been proven scientifically that about 5% hear the low frequencies way louder. About 30, 40 decibels maximum, but averaging 20 decibels. So out of that 5%, a couple of percent hear it even louder than the f actual five percent, but let's just say most people hear it way, way louder. So that means that the actual 80 decibels of sound is heard like 40 decibels and not like a 10 decibel sound. So for you it's breaking law, for you it's way too loud, but for the government it isn't. So that's the problem here. That's the problem. It's kind of like those high frequency sounds they use to scare children and adolescents in the mall. So that they don't hang around and make trouble. Not everybody hears them. But that doesn't mean it's all in your head. It's actually there. And only the children hear it. Same with low frequencies. It's actually there but not everybody hears it. And not everybody is bothered by it. But imagine hearing a high pitch sound everywhere you go and not only in the mall. Okay. It is a serious problem. And it needs a solution. And uh, the only way there will be a solution is if, if enough people complain about it and don't just settle with some therapy. So, first step. Plug in the microphone and set the recording level. Don't pick 100, that's that at least a bad recording, but 90 is good. So I'll show you where to find it. Uh, device management. Microphone. Oh, this wasn't it. Where the fuck was it? Well, here's the sound recording program I have. I forgot where it was. Right. Uh, I think it was here. Yeah, that was it. So here, 90, 90%. Right. Then you are ready to record. There's plenty of recorder software around, but I just used the Windows 8 recorder because it didn't contain any malware. Choose the right one, of course. Uh, this one doesn't work, it's crap. And this one does work, I don't know why they have a crappy one and a good one, but anyways. You can start the recording here, so let me turn down the music for a second. You just need a 10 second recording. Oh, I 
gonna store it through my desktop. Next step is to yeah interpret it. The interpretation software I use is Audacity. Yeah, I had another program, Sonic Visualizer, but it didn't really. Yeah, there are many programs, and I just choose this one. So you will notice a problem if you use this one. And this is the next error. Not the correct file type. So therefore, I have this one. Free make audio converter. Okay, convert it to a file. Yeah, convert. Right. That, that doesn't take long really. So now I have the WAV. Right, there it is. I always take out the first and last bit. Well, there you go. Anything below. 200 is low frequency. Well, my my microphone had a linear response above 20 and below it recorded at lower levels, so it should be actually stronger. But it's better just to ignore anything below 20 hertz, just for the scientific approach. So uh, you can see that it's pretty obvious the the lower frequencies are stronger than the higher ones. There's a small spike here. But let me just show you what this this sound sounds like. Okay, this this is minus 108 decibels and this is 68, so it's 40 decibels strong. Pretty strong. But now I'm just gonna isolate this part. So this program pretty much works very, very nice. And I should be more exact about this. Uh. I still need to weaken that part down. So let's do it once more. Okay, good. Now I just have the 100 frequency sound. Now if I play it, you won't hear anything because my laptop only plays 400 hertz and up. But there's an easy trick. So, 400 hertz and up. This is good enough. There you go. So now here. Oh. Maybe I need a little bit more hertz. Or yeah. Let me just amplify it for a minute. There you go. That's basically all there was to it. Pretty easy, huh? Good luck. <laughs>